Seven, six, five, four, three, two.
expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat at 812 six two oh zero seven six nine again that is eight one two six two oh zero seven six nine farmer owned farmer values is your ride not as reliable as it used to be Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers, unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. 227-9421 or just visit our website. Links Clothing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season. Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. If you 
Killed. Yeah, well, Kyle's not here. How come? Kicked off the team. Didn't Tim tell you? Kyle and some other kids got caught drinking beer in the park a couple of nights ago. Really? Yeah. Zero tolerance. He's out for the season. Come on, it's a first offense, right? That we know of. But why should that matter? He knew not to drink. I've made it clear to Matt, that's what we expect from him. What have you said to Tim? Um, nothing really. You know, a lot of kids try it at this age, so... I... Yeah, well, a lot of kids don't try it, too. I'm not saying that Matt's gonna be this perfect kid, but if I don't tell him what we expect and why he shouldn't drink, how's he gonna know? You think kids that age really listen? <laughs> they never admit it, Bill, but they hear more than you think. Talk. They hear you. For more information about talking with kids about underage drinking, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. In 2015, we launched the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. This is phase two of the Happily Ever After project. With the assistance of several local donors and sponsors, along with five years of fundraising by the Washington County Youth Foundation, we finally had enough resources to launch the service. The Dolly Parton Imagination Library is a free service that mails age-appropriate books to all required Washington County children under the age of five. Although the faces of the leadership of the Washington County Community Foundation have changed over time, as is always the case with any healthy, thriving organization, the core values and mission remain the same. We continue to work diligently to assist our donors in creating a legacy that is meaningful to them. All of our success is directly related to the generosity of the sons and daughters of Washington County. We will continue to help our donors give back to our community through our foundation and improve the quality of life in our county. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Batt at 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. At Eddie Gilstrap, our customers are family. Rated in the top 6% nationwide in Ford dealers, we pride ourselves on our no-pressure environment, honesty, and integrity. Come see us today and discover why we're different. Eddie Gilstrap Motors. Lynx Clothing and Shoes carries a wide variety of items from name brand clothing and shoes to sports apparel and sporting goods. We offer custom screen printing and embroidery, free gift wrapping alternations and layaway. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 9 to 5.30, Friday 9 to 6, and Saturday 9 to 5. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and are a family owned and operated business. Stop by and see us today. 812-883-4154. In every family, small conversations can make a big impact. I grew up on tour with my parents. Kind of different, but we bonded over music and we talked. Honest conversations, like when my dad shared his experiences as an alcoholic. Your honesty gave me a sense of integrity that I wanted in my own life. And I wanted you to know from someone who's been in recovery more than 30 years now, that hard work is what creates success, not alcohol or other drugs. In whatever you do, talk, they hear you. Michael Long with American Family Insurance offers auto, home, business, farm, and life insurance, which includes motorcycles, boats, ATVs, UTVs, classic and antique autos, renters, manufactured homes, rentals, along with event coverage such as weddings, golf hole-in-ones, conferences, and much, much more. He's licensed in Indiana, Ohio, and Florida. For more information, look him up on Facebook to see insurance tips and to sign up for his agency giveaways. Michael Long, American Family Insurance, all your protection under one roof. 
Some see a student athlete working on a shot. We see a powerful lesson in persistence. Some see a student preparing for success on an exam. We see a student athlete preparing for success in life. Proud to keep education in front of athletics since 1903. At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're not just good at insurance. We're good at Emma and Jake's just baby-proof their two-bedroom bungalow to prepare for baby number one insurance. We're good at Madeline and Chance's just gave in and became minivan people to make room for baby number two insurance. And we're good at Gabby and Nate's just moved to a house with a bigger backyard to welcome fur baby number three insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're not just good at insurance. We're good at Matt's one-car, two-bedroom apartment with a home office slash home gym so insurance. You, yeah. We're good at Nick's SUV and farmhouse with a remodeled kitchen slash art gallery insurance. And we're good at the Wilbur suburban home with a two-car garage slash rehearsal space insurance. Have you seen my hockey socks? Have you checked your sock drawer? Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. Welcome everyone to the live broadcast today of the West Washington Lady Senators as they take on the host Northeast Dubois Jeeps in today's early morning matchup. Winner of tonight will play, or winner of this matchup will play tonight uh, back here at Northeast Dubois. The Jeeps come in with a six and six record on the year. Senators go with their regular starting lineup. Of uh, Emma Schmidt at one guard, the 5'4 junior, averaging five points, three rebounds. Along with her in the backcourt is Shelby Griffiths, the 5'4 senior, averaging four points and two rebounds. Meredith Eaton is the third uh, guard in the backcourt, the 5'5 sophomore, averaging 14 points, four rebounds. Jayla Batt starts in the front court, the 5'7 sophomore, averaging 10 points, eight rebounds. Also in the front court is Ava Woods, the 5'11 junior, averaging six points, four points, four rebounds. The Lady Jeeps start with Macy Harrison, uh, Emerson Kalb, Lily. Uh, Schnell, Kylie Merkel, and Kinsey Cave are their five starters that they're going to go with. Getting ready for the jump here. It looks like Ava Woods and I believe that's Kinsey Cave. Nope, Schnell. Senators control the ball. Meredith Deaton hands it off to Shelby Griffiths. Senators going to set up their offense. Nice cut through there out to Woods for a two-point bucket. She missed, then going to go out of bounds. So Senators unable to control that one. Northeast Dubois is going to take over to run some of their offense. Senator's going to come back and run their offense the other way after the Northeast Dubois miss. Senators work it through. Meredith pulls it back out, out top. Let me see what I can do. Six point three seven five. 
Chief set up their offense. Get it rolling. The shot down the lane, nice bucket there by, I believe that was 14, Emerson Cowb. And he scored two to nothing. Jeep's out ahead. Senators working their offense. Back out to Shelby for three. That one good. <laughs> Senators with a one point lead. Three to two. Keeps back on offense, coming around, working into the post. Cross for a two point miss. Jeeps do get the rebound though. That one goes up again, another miss. Out comes Ava Woods with it. Jayla Back goes up, gets it, that shot blocked. Comes into Shelby for three. That one good. With a top early, she's got six. Here's the first turnover of the day for the Jeeps. Passes it off there. Comes back around to Griffiths out top. They guard her more closely now that she's already hit one three. So it is really working it around the perimeter of this. Uh, defense, they leave it off to bat, off to Woods. Woods goes up and gets that one blocked, but Shelby Griffith's there for the rebound. That shot up and no good. Jeeps off with the rebound the other way. That's going to be a foul. On Ava Woods, I believe, is going to pick up that personal. Now with her two-point bucket and a free throw. And Senators driving around, that's to the bat. Good for her first two points of the day, 8-5. around the top of the zone. Gonna be a jump ball. In comes Lily Thompson. Foul gonna happen on the floor. Got her on the arm, so back to the free throw line is Nancy Harrison. Both of those in, give the Jeeps a one point lead. Senators working around the top of the zone.
down into Woods. Woods, one power dribble up, misses that one. Jeeps come off with the rebound. Quickly down the other way, they miss their two-point bucket. Running back and forth, Deaton with the ball, comes up to the free throw line, nothing there. Kicks it off to Griffiths, out to Thompson. Just over three minutes left to go here in the first quarter of play. Senators go back to their motion offense. Back goes in and gonna get fouled. She's gonna go to the line here. That's gonna be a foul on Schnell. One dribble for Bat at the line. That one up and good. In comes 21, Bella Cummins for the Jeeps. Bat misses the second free throw. Jeeps push back the other way. Score is tied, nine to nine. There's a turnover for the Jeeps. Merrick Deaton with the steal, coming back. Kicks it off to Thompson in the corner. That one no good. Jeeps rebound and push back the other way. We're going to get a 30-second timeout here by um, Coach Messamore. We're going to step away, have a commercial break, and be back in just a moment. At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're not just good at insurance. We're good at Matt's one-car, two-bedroom apartment with a home office slash home gym insurance. You, yeah. We're good at Nick's SUV and farmhouse with a remodeled kitchen slash art gallery insurance. And we're good at the Wilbur suburban home with the two-car garage slash rehearsal space insurance. Have you seen my hockey socks? Have you checked your sock drawer? Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. Back to live action here at Northeast Sea Voice where the Senators do um, are tied nine to nine here. That one quickly down the lane. Senators able to get that one, then we're gonna pick up a foul here. Foul going to be on number 22. That is Merkel's first. There's a three point bucket from Meredith Deaton to get in the scoring column. It's a 12 to 9. Then a turnover for the Lady Jeeps, but the Senators turn it right back over again. A long three-point miss. Senators rebound, get control, and come back the other way with Shelby Griffiths. It's going to be a turnover for the Lady Senators. Shelby comes out. In comes Emma Schmidt. She's going to pick up in a 1-2-2 press here. Jeeps inbound to the side, then get it to the middle right where they want to go. Nice job swinging around. Out for a three. That one no good. No Senators there to get the rebound. 31 cave there for the two-point bucket. Jeeps pull within one. Under a minute, we've got Layla Manship in the game also. Deaton looks, nothing there. Comes back out top, sets up the offense. Kicks it off to Manship. Thompson, couple dribbles, then back to Schmidt. 
Woods flashes, unable to get her the ball. It's a Thompson around the top. Thompson for three. That one good. That's it. 15 to 11. 20 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Kick it off to Schnell. Schnell able to hit her two point bucket. 10 seconds to go. Deaton with the ball. Couple of dribbles, leaves it off to Manship. Manship over to Thompson. Unable to get off a shot there too in the first quarter where the Senators do lead 15 to 13. We're gonna step aside, have a commercial break and we'll be back for second quarter action here in just a moment. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849. Two six seven zero. Back to live action here at Northeast Dubois, where the Lady Senators do lead 15-13 over the host uh, Lady Jeeps of Northeast Dubois. Good first quarter there for the Senators. They were four of five from three-point range to get them 12 of their 15 points. They did get out-rebounded in that first quarter, five to four. The Lady Jeeps were also ahead of them on turnovers, four to two. So, Senators, good first quarter. I'm sure Coach Missamore would like to have a second quarter equally as good as that first one. So, Lady Senators inbound the ball. Griffiths does the ball handling. Off to Lily Thompson, around to Macy Lowry. Lowry misses that bucket. Jeeps quickly push the other way. Cow with Jayla Bat on her. Cow passes off to Harrison. That one no good. Shelby Griffiths with the rebound. But then she's going to turn it over before she can get in the lane. A nice bucket by 21, Bella Cummins. Ties the game at 15. Senators unable to get anything going there. That's a turnover for them. And then we're going to get a turnover back the other way for the Jeeps. Kind of sloppy to start off this second quarter of play here. <laughs> Senators come up, start running their offense. That pass not going to work for Macy Lowry. Gets that one taken away. Swings it around to Harrison. Harrison, bang for three. Gives her five on the day. Lady Jeeps out to a three-point lead. Lady Senator is going to take a timeout. We're going to get a 30-second timeout, so we're going to go to an IHSA commercial. We'll be back in just a moment. At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're not just good at insurance. We're good at Matt's one-car, two-bedroom apartment with a home office slash home gym insurance. You, yeah. We're good at Nick's SUV and farmhouse with a remodeled kitchen slash art gallery insurance. And we're good at the Wilbur suburban home with the two-car garage slash rehearsal space insurance. Have you seen my hockey socks? Have you checked your sock drawer? Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. Back to live action here at Northeast Dubois where the Lady Senators do trail by three. Lady Jeeps on a run here. Lady Senators haven't scored in the second quarter of play yet, so. <clears throat> Back to their offense. Meredith Deaton looking to feed the post. Nothing there. A couple of dribbles back out to Shelby Griffiths. Jayla Bat at the top of the key. Hands off to Thompson. 
Thompson to Schmidt. Schmidt around to Deaton. Then we get a feed down to Schmidt in the paint. Good bucket for her. Emma Schmidt gets her first two-point bucket of the night. Jeeps go over the top of the press and back the other way. Harrison up and good for two for her. Gives her seven. Deaton off to Thompson, around to Schmidt. Back to Griffiths. Finally, Deaton gives it off to Thompson. Deep three for her. That one no good, but Jayla Bat there for the rebound. Goes up. That one no good, but going to get fouled by 14. Cal, her first personal of the night. Jayla Bat going to go back to the line where she's a 52% free throw shooter on the year. Makes it a two-point lead for the Lady Jeeps, in comes 22. Kelly Merkel. Bat steps up, second one. Every bit of the rim and it then drops through. In comes Ava Woods for Lily Thompson. Sanders gonna go with their one, two, two press. Jeeps break it easily down the lane. Moves it off for a two. That one hits the front of the rim. That one no good. But Jeeps come out with a rebound. Keep working it around. Cummins off to Kalb. Kalb with a pump fake, nothing there. Senators playing good defense here. That's a I believe they're going to get Ava Woods for that foul. I'm not so sure that she was, that she got fouled. She got bailed out. It's going to be her second personal. Merkel <laughs> goes to the line, hits the first one. Second one up, and it's also good. Still a three-point lead. Senators trying to feed that post. It's not there. That's turnover number six. Up ahead, Jeeps throw it into the front court. And Jayla Bat takes it away, but then gives it right back. Schmidt there with the ball. It's going to be a jump ball. Stay with the Jeeps. 4.32 left to go here in the first half of play. Senators trail by three, 22-19. Ball thrown over the top to Harrison. Harrison off to Kalb. She's picked up by Schmidt, back to Harrison. Swing it across the zone. Senators in a 2-3 zone now. Shelby Griffiths almost gets her hand on that one as they go across the zone again. Three-point bucket for Cave. It's her five today. Lead out to six. Senators running their offense. Deaton, a couple of dribbles, nothing there. Out to Schmidt. Schmidt down into Deaton. Deaton goes up. That one no good. Jeeps with the rebound, coming back the other way. Harrison brings it up across half court. Deep three for Harrison, bang. Gives her 10. Jeeps out, stretching that lead out to nine points now. Deaton with the ball on the wing. Dribbles back to the top of the key, off to Griffiths. Jayla Bat now feeds Deaton out top, off to Griffiths again. Nothing there, Griffiths with the hot hand in the first quarter, but no points here in the second. 
Deaton to bat, bat. Takes one dribble back off to Griffiths. Senator's really trying to get the ball to Deaton in the post, but nothing there. Just being guarded by Cave, nice job by her. We're gonna take a timeout, 30 second timeout. We're gonna step aside for a commercial break. We'll be back in just a moment. In every family, small conversations can make a big impact. I grew up on tour with my parents. Kind of different, but we bonded over music and we talked. Honest conversations, like when my dad shared his experiences as an alcoholic. Your honesty gave me a sense of integrity that I wanted in my own life. And I wanted you to know from someone who's been in recovery more than 30 years now, that hard work is what creates success, not alcohol or other drugs. In whatever you do, talk, they hear you. Back to live action here at Northeast Dubois where the Senators do trail by nine. Here, 2.40 left to go in the first half of play. Coach Miss Moore takes that timeout, gets her, uh, gets Ava Woods back onto the floor, I believe. No, gets Lily Thompson back onto the floor along with Layla Manship. Senators need to get some points going here in the last two minutes. Deaton looks, nothing there. Looks to feed Woods. Woods comes, sets a pick, nothing there. Back to Woods. Thompson out on top. Deaton has just been chased the whole game by Cave. Not giving her any room at all. Shelby out to Woods. Woods back to Deaton. Set the offense back up. Out top the to Woods. Woods for a jumper from the top of the key. Nothing there. Senator's going to keep possession. Goes off of a Jeeps player out of bounds. One fifty left to go here in the first half. Thompson pump fake for two this time. Nothing there. Out ahead. <clears throat> the Lady Jeep's going to set up their offense, going to go for a little bit of a spread here. Two-point miss there for the Lady Jeeps. Senators with the rebound. Deaton hesitation, dribble, then throws one up, going to pick up the foul. Only... Uh, 22, Merkel going to pick that one up. I believe that's her first, oh, no, nope, her second of the game. Deaton goes to the line where she's a 58% free throw shooter. She misses the first one. Schmidt comes in for Shelby Griffiths. <laughs> Couple of dribbles for Deaton. Let's that one go. That one good for her. Nice move there by Cal. Unable to get her shot off though. Comes back to her at the top of the key. Out guarded by Thompson. Deaton gambles there. Harrison at the free throw line. That one no good, but Layla Manship there for the rebound. Thompson off to Schmidt. Back to Thompson on the wing, around the top to Woods. Off to Deaton. Deaton for three. Bang. Gets her seven. Cuts the lead to five. 22, or sorry, 23 28. Lady Jeeps lead right at 30 seconds. Nice job by Lily Thompson to get her hand on that one. Unable to save it inbound, so we're gonna get Jayla Bat checking in and Macy Lowry. So Senator's going with a bigger lineup here. Two 
Leone comes in, Snell with her seventh point. Makes the lead back to seven, 18 seconds to go. Macy Lowry off to Thompson at the top, around to Deaton, Deaton feeds down low to Thompson to Lowry, Lowry gets her hand on it last, so gonna be a turnover for the Senators. Gives them eight and a half. 9.7 left to go, Lady Jeeps up seven. Go a bat there to block that one. Point six left to go. Going to be a turnover for the Lady Jeeps. Lady Senators inbound the ball. And unable to get a shot off. So that's going to end our first half where the Lady Senators do trail by seven. First half stats, the Lady Senators were four of six from the free throw line for 67%. They were two of 10 from two point range for 20%. They were five of seven from three point range for 71%. That's what kept them in the game so far. They were seven of 17 total for 41%. They had nine rebounds and eight turnovers. The Lady Jeeps were five of five from the free throw line, um, eight of 16 from two point range for 50%, three of six from three point range for 50%. So 11 of 22 overall for 50%. They had nine rebounds and seven turnovers. Lady Senators were led in scoring by Meredith Deaton with seven. Jayla Bat had five. Uh, Emma Schmidt had two. Lily Thompson had three. Shelby Griffiths with six. Lady Jeeps were led by Macy Harrison with 10. Kalb had four. Schnell had seven. Cummings had two. And Merkel had two. Cave had five. So that brings our total to 30 for the Lady Jeeps, 23 for the Lady Senators. We will um, have an extended break here for just a little bit, and then we will be back with the um, second half of action here at Northeast Dubois. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott Counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. Gates, Carnegie, Rockefeller, I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, Donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions, big and small, to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, we will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, we also really love our community.
It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, Here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Nighting. Welcome back, everyone, to our weekly discussion with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Nighting. And Paul, holiday season is here. A little bit of break in the action, if you will, for boys and girls basketball and swimming and wrestling and and winter sports. And um, it's a great time of year for a variety of reasons, not the least of which is that things are going well in the winter sports season for everyone. They are, Coach, and it's been a, you know, we've talked before, it's been a phenomenal fall, and, and winter's been perfect, too, and so far the weather has uh, left us alone. Old Mother Nature has uh, made a, made, don't, had a, sent a few little snow flurries our way, but schools are still uh-huh. playing, and, you know, we've had, a, we've had a great year, Coach, and it's just phenomenal, but you know how it is. Any time that student-athletes are in a gym <laughs> with their coach, um, Mm-hmm. You know, learn with their teammates, learning how to grow up in life a little bit and take skills with them to the next phase. And it's a great day for me. And that's I don't I don't really wins and losses don't matter. It's about the lessons that are left when the day is over uh, and the participation is over for these kids. And so, yeah, we've had a great year so far. I think, you know, with the perspective of being at, at our particular ages, we, we were able to look back and, and think fondly on those days. I mean, I'm, I miss those two days. I miss being in the gym, you know, with my teammates and everyone. I, I just miss the whole thing because it was such an important part of our lives. And you know, it's the same thing with the kids out there right now. I mean, you, you value these opportunities because you won't have them forever. And um, they'll go by quicker than you can even begin to imagine. They do, and you know we'll, we'll 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 pull out the old guy status here, coach. And you know, and I when I have a chance to talk to kids every once in a while, and when you're you're 18 years old, the number of rebounds you get uh, <laughs> or number of points you get matters a lot. Uh, but as you walk into the next phases in life, the those things you forget about those and i couldn't Mm -hmm. you know i can't tell you uh uh, how many points i scored against two anymore but i can tell you that (laughs) the lessons that i learned are are with me uh and they're they they speak to me louder today at 60 years old than they ever did at 18 years old and and i would tell you that i get to do what i do because of a great transformational (laughs) education-based coach such as yourself in my life well, I value that, too. I'm, I benefit from that like a lot of people. All right, it's that time of year where we can go watch. You want to go watch a wrestling tournament? You want to go watch a swimming uh, invitational and watch see great, great young men and women in the water having fun? Basketball tournaments everywhere. You know, this has become a really fun time of year for people schedule-wise because you can schedule out of area, schedule some teams uh, that may be a little bit bigger than you, maybe a little bit better than you. And when the, you don't have that opportunity every year to do it. So it's a, it's a very valuable time of year in addition to getting a little bit of time off. But it's also important in terms of putting the building blocks together to try to win championships. It is. It's, it's an opportunity to get better. And getting better means you may take a few lumps over this time of year. And just like you said, Coach, yeah. you've got you to gotta try a few new things. You've also got to gotta ramp your schedule up. You know, you've got to be able to play teams that are, are better than you believe you are right now to challenge your skills, to challenge your, your, your team to see, okay, this is – if I want to get the hardware at the end of the year, I've got to be able to beat these teams. And you need to go out and experience that during the regular season if you're ever going to, to make it to the crescendo of this at Gamebridge Fieldhouse, home of the Pacers, at the end of the year. Do you think you'll be able to get any Christmas presents this year for being as nice as you've been? Is this going to be one of those good years for you on Christmas Day? <laughs> coach it's always a debate you know it's one of those things that i'll never know until that morning Uh, you know i'll walk down and and see what's there under the tree on christmas morning then i'll know what kind of year i've had Uh, but anyway yeah i you know it's it's such a blessing time of year and i tell you what with five grandkids our four grandkids now it's just i'm so excited to, to get home spend a little downtime and watch those kids enjoy the christmas season Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community.
Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. Or just visit our website. Back to start the second half action here where the Lady Senators do trail by seven. Had a very good first quarter, but then the second quarter um, were unable to get kind of the, the ball rolling. Um, you know, the Senators only score eight points in that second quarter of play where the Lady Jeeps get 17. So that is the difference in the game so far. Lady Senators going to come out, looks like, with their – Regular starters. Lady Jeep's going to set up in a 2-3 zone, it looks like. Ball comes inbounds. Shelby Griffiths brings it to the near side of the floor. Off the bat. Bat goes around to Deaton. Deaton to Schmidt. Schmidt in the lane to Woods. Nothing there. Quickly back out. Schmidt goes up. Going to get fouled there by Harrison. Going to be her first personal. So Emma Schmidt going to go to the free throw line where she's a 64% free throw shooter on the year. That one up and no good. Schmidt, a couple more dribbles at the line, lets that one fly. It's no good. Lady Jeeps up the floor, setting up in their offense. Harrison picked up by Griffiths. Down to the free throw line. It works out around to 14. Cowb, Cowb with the two-point bucket. She's got six on the day. Stretch that lead back out to nine. Senators looking to get into the post to Woods. Woods flashes up to the top by the free throw line. Nothing going there. Deaton on the wing around the top to Bat. Bat thinks about a three, nothing there. Shelby Griffiths quickly looks down in the post to Deaton, unable to get it to her, but gets it to her on the wing. Makes a drive baseline, nothing there. Gonna get fouled. 22, Merkel picks up that one. I believe that's her third. Uh, yeah, her third. Deaton to the line, first one, no good. Lady Senators so far this quarter, 0 of 3 from the free throw line. Next one up, it's good. Meredith with 8, cuts the lead to 8. Jeeps go over the top of the press. Cal dribbles down in the lane, leaves it off for Harrison. Harrison, a jab step, nothing there. Drives in the lane, gets that one up on the backboard. It's no good. But rebounded by Merkel. Cal setting up the offense. Off to Harrison. Harrison up and good for two. Big game for her. She's got 12. Cuts, moves the lead out to 10. Around the top of Deaton. Deaton down into the lane. Leaves it off to Woods. Not going to get that one. That's going to be a travel. First turnover of the half for the Lady Senators. Jeeps quickly break that press. So that with the steal. Sorry, that wasn't Jayla. That was Shelby Griffiths with the steal. <laughs> Leaves it off. 
going to get a miss there and then a foul. I believe they called that on Cave. So her first personal, Senator's unable to get that one up on the board. Lead is still 10, 535 left to go. Harrison underneath, good for two. That's 14 points for Harrison. Okay, the bat around to Deaton, Deaton off to Griffiths. Senators look like they're doing a whole lot of standing. They've got to do some more movement on this offense. Jayla with an athletic move down the lane. Going to be on the floor. 22. I believe that's Miracle's fourth. She comes out 21. Cummins comes in. Download of Woods back out to Schmidt. Schmidt for three. That one no good. Thompson on the floor along with a host of other players. Going to be a jump ball. This one going to go to the Lady Jeeps. Ball comes in to the side. Jeeps easily able to break that. And one opportunity. I believe they're going to give Lily Thompson that foul. Cow with the two point bucket. It is Thompson. She picks up her first. Lead out to 14. That free throw, no good. So it is with the rebound. Bat down the lane, gets that one blocked, but gonna pick up a foul there on Kinsey Cave. I believe that's her second. That's already five in this quarter for the Lady Jeeps. Bat goes to the line, that one up and good. Gives her six. Ava Woods checks out. Layla Manship checks in. 4.48 to go here in the third. That second one up and good. Lady Senators go out of their press. Fall back into half court, man to man. Harrison looking in the post for something, nothing there. Going to swing it over to Kalb. Kalb picked up by Schmidt. Round two, Cummings. Cummings, nothing there. A couple of dribbles. Going to be a time. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. We're going to step aside for a quick commercial break. We'll be back in just a moment. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat at 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. Lady Senators down 12 here at Northeast Dubois to the host, Jeeps. Lady Jeeps going to take the ball out of bounds. Senator set up in a 2-3 zone here. Ball inbounded to Cal. Cal brings it back up top to set up the offense. Senators fall back into a 2-3 zone here. Senators able to come out of there with that rebound. Bat with it on the wing. 
dribbles into the lane. Nice reverse there. That one's going to be blocked. Scooped up. That's going to be a foul underneath. Nice job there by Bat. That foul goes on Schnell, her second. Jayla goes back to the line for more free throws. That one up and good. I did get a picture um, of her in the barn practicing her free throws, so coming in handy today where she's made her living at the line. She's got eight points so far. Next one up and good also. Cuts the lead to 10. Lady Senators need to make a push here if they're going to get back in this game. Harrison dribbles it off her foot, able to recover it. Back out top to Kalb. Kalb going to set up the offense again. Goes to Cummings, then back to Kalb, underneath to Schnell. Nice hands there by Lily Thompson with the takeaway. Senators get back in their offense. Deaton doing the ball handling out on the logo at half court. Bat, nice swing around, up. Oh, misses that one. Lady Jeeps come back the other way. They miss it also. Still up by 10 are the Lady Jeeps. with the ball out top over to Jayla Bat on the wing. Thompson at the top of the key, dribbles down the lane, goes up. That one no good. But then they're going to turn it right back over. That's a deep three miss, nothing there. Meredith Deaton comes up with the ball. They try to feed it in to Manship. Layla Manship going to pick up her first personal foul. So some uh, confusion on who the foul was on. So foul is on Layla Manship. She's going to pick up that foul. And then they're going to bring in number 20, Schnell. Who was the foul on? Jeeps back in their offense. That one goes down low. Turnover for the Lady Jeeps. That leaves it off to Deaton. Deaton good for two. Gets them up to 10. Eight point lead here for the Lady Jeeps. Going to be a full timeout. We're going to step aside, have a commercial break, break from Lynx Clothing and Shoes. We'll be back for more action. Lynx Clothing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season. Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812 883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. Back to live action here at Northeast Two Boys where they do lead by eight. 135 left to go here in the third quarter of play. Lady Senators trying to make a push here to get back into this one. Harrison with the ball on the wing. 
up top to Cummins. Over to Schnell, Schnell, a couple of power dribbles, nothing there. A delayed call there by the officials. Jayla Bat takes it away, but she is standing out of bounds. 116 left to go. Ball comes all the way out top from the baseline. Over to Cummins. And around the three-point arc, nothing there. Goes over to Cow Cow, picked up by Bat. Back to Harrison. In the corner. Harrison for three. Bang. Gives her 17. Under 40 seconds to go. Lady Jeeps lead by 11. Out top to Thompson. Thompson down the lane. Puts that one up. It's no good. Rebounded by the Jeeps. Harrison comes back. No one picks her up. All the way down the lane. Off the backboard, no good. In comes Mc, or Kinsey K for Harrison. 18.3 left to go. Jeeps up 11. Senators dribble down. Bat no good. Gets that one blocked underneath again. No good at the buzzer. So Senator's going to go into the fourth quarter down 11. We're going to step aside for a commercial break. We'll be back in just a moment. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott Counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. Back to live action here where the Senators do trail by 11 going into the fourth quarter. It is 41-30. Going to be Jeep ball out of bounds. Senators go with Thompson, Deaton, Manship, Schmidt, and Bat on the floor. Three point shot, no good for the Lady Jeeps. Going to be rebounded by the Senators. Bat comes out of there with it, hands it off to Deaton. Down low to Schmidt. Schmidt, nice move. That one, no good. Manship unable to get that rebound, so back the other way come the Jeeps. Cowb looking to attack. The top of the key. Gives that one off to Homan. Thompson there gets her hand on it, but unable to control it before it goes out of bounds. In comes, I believe that's Adele Brown. Gonna bring Manship off the floor. Nice hands there by Bat. If she gets that blocked, then it's handed off to Deaton. Adele Brown for three, that one no good. Going to 
to be a foul. I don't know if they're going to give this one to Thompson. Yep. Thompson picks up her second personal. Two shots here for Schnell. That one up and good. Couple more dribbles. What's that one fly? It's good. Senators set up their offense. Nobody picks up Schmidt. She leaves it off to Brown over to Bat. Lily Thompson, two dribbles and then hands it off to Brown. Brown over to Deaton. Cal going to pick up her second foul on that one. Lady Jeeps lead by 13. Just nothing going here for the Senators. Thompson down the lane, misses that layup, leaves it into Bat. Bat back to Thompson in the corner. Brown down the lane, unable to get that one going. Schmidt now tries to go in. That doesn't work. Back out top to Deaton. Can go off the Jeep's foot. Thompson no good. Bat with the ball. That one gets up on the backboard, and that one goes in for him finally. Gives Jayla 11 today. That's the lead to 11. Nice move down the lane. It's going to be Cummings' first, or sorry, second two point bucket of the day. Brown looking at a three there, not going for it. Deaton drives, nothing there. Reverse pivot, that one up and no good. Senator is going to take possession of this ball out of bounds. Jeep's unable to get control of it. Still up 13. Ball comes into Lily Thompson. Thompson looks to drive, gets in the lane. Nothing there. Off to Adele Brown. There's a steal. From the Jeeps, Lily Thompson going to pick up another personal. That's her third. Shelby Griffiths comes in. Four forty-two left to go. Lady Jeeps up thirteen. Harrison down the lane. Uh, Shelby Griffith's going to pick up her first. Only allowed three seconds in the paint, sir. Harrison goes to the line where she is a 66% free throw shooter on the year. Oh, they didn't give that to Brown. They gave it to... Um, well, they didn't give it to Shelby. They gave it to Adele. Harrison hits both, gives her 19. Shelby leaves it off to Thompson. Thompson to Brown. Brown down the lane, nothing going. Bat wings around. Going to get a push. She's going to go to the line. <laughs> A 
They give it to number 20, Schnell, her third. Adele Brown works it off to Deaton. Deaton, a couple of dribbles off to Thompson. Thompson on the wing. Back to Brown out top, nothing there. Over to Griffith on the opposite wing. Thompson for three. That one no good. Keeps with the rebound. Back the other way quickly as Taub. Taub looks to pull up, but she's picked up by Deaton. Nichols misses that one. Back comes out with the rebound the other way. Taylor gets that one blocked. Brown with the pickup. Good for two. Her first two point bucket. That's the lead to 13. Jayla gets tangled up there on the far side. It's gonna be her first personal of the day. Only second of the quarter. Senators in a two-three zone here. There's a three-point make by Cal. Gives her 11. 16-point lead for the Jeeps. Thompson up and good, and one opportunity for her. Cummings going to pick up her first. In comes Elena Schmidt. Out comes Shelby Griffiths. Thompson to the line, where she's only a 44% free throw shooter on the year. That one no good. Quickly up the court come the Jeeps. Senators trail by 14, 225 left to go. Move it off to Harrison. Harrison, quick step, nothing there. Deaton going to pick up that one. Two fourteen left to go. Harrison to the line. Gives her an even 20. That one also good. Ball around the top. Gets down into Schmidt. She's unable to get a hold of it, but it does go off a Jeep's player, so Lady Senators do keep control of it. Senators get the ball into Deaton. Deaton swings it around to Brown. Brown for three. Bang. Gets her five on the night. That's the lead down to 13. A minute 30 to go. There's 
and down the lane, good for two. Deaton, reverse pivot, puts that one up, gets it, blocked. Jeeps under a minute. Foul there on. Did they give that to Deaton? Yep, her second. Cal to the line. That one no good. Back to the line for a second free throw. That one up and good. It's her 12. She checks out. 40.4 seconds left. Lady Jeeps up 16. Thompson for three. Bang. She's now got eight. Out of bounds, Lady Senators going to get the ball back just a little too late here for the Senators to get anything going. 55-42. 12 seconds to go. Brown for three. That's no good. Lady Jeeps. Are victorious in this one, 55-42. Leading the Lady Senators in scoring is Jayla Bat with 11. Meredith Deaton has 10. Lily Thompson with eight. Um, Shelby Griffiths with six. Adele Brown with five. And Emma Schmidt with two. Lady Jeeps were led in scoring by Macy Harrison with 23. Emerson Cowb with 12. Uh, Schnell had nine. Cummings had four. Cave had five, and Merkel had two. Shooting in the second half, Lady Senators were five of nine from the free throw line for 55%. They were four of 13 from two-point range for 31%. They were two of seven from three-point range for um, 28%. Overall, six of 20 for 30%. They had... 10 rebounds in the second half, nine in the first for 19 total. I had them for only two turnovers in the second half, but eight in the first. Uh, Lady Jeeps were seven of nine from, um, seven of nine from two point range. They were six of 13 from two point range, and they were two of three from three point range. So eight of 16 for 50%. They had nine rebounds, or sorry, 12 rebounds in the second half and five turnovers for 12 total in the game. So Lady uh, Jeeps are victorious, 42, or 55 42. Lady Senators will play in the consolation game starting at six o'clock. So for those of you looking to tune in, that game will be live here. At 6 o'clock for you to watch, we will be back then. Going to send everything back to the studio.